Hey booktube, it's Charlie from Reader Turned Writer and today I am sharing a date idea making children's books together. So this is just going to be a short little video talking about my experience of doing dates with my husband making children's books together. And it's something that's really really fun to do and really simple and easy and free or cheap and so if you don't have a lot of money or if you have kids and you're stuck at home because they're sleeping or if you're don't have kids but you want to do something a little more creative or you're newlyweds and you have no money, this is a really good date idea. My husband and I actually made a children's book together when I was pregnant with my first child. We did it as a double date which was really fun and all we did is we got, this is our children's book and it is super super worn out because our kids absolutely love it. We did it grumpy cat themed because my husband it loves the grumpy cat. It's his favorite meme on the internet and so we actually have a grumpy cat stuffed animal that the kids love as well and we actually have some like legitimate grumpy cat books because they sell picture books about the grumpy cat. So we did that as our theme and we just took cardstock for the cover and we just folded it in half and then we took, our book was really short too, it was just, it was actually just two pages. We just took two printer pa paper pages and folded them in half and then we stapled them together here. My husband's the artist so he drew the pictures and I colored it in and we wrote it together and we went really silly with it, you know, we said a New York Times bestseller on the front by Ben and Charlie Anderson, Grumpy Cat and Happy Dog. And then on the front we actually dedicated it to our daughter Ashton because she wasn't born yet and we said to our daughter Ashton who will most likely encounter the Grumpy Cat no often. <laughs> And then it just says, it was really, really simple, and he just drew little simple illustrations of the animals and stuff. The grumpy cat was grumpy. The happy dog was happy. The grumpy cat was not happy that the grumpy cat was happy. So she went to visit him and told him no. The end. And then on the back, we were so ornery. We like... We like drew the price tag and Anderson Publishing and then on the top we said we did a, a quote from JK Rowling saying great character development and we just were super obnoxious with it and it was super fun and the other couple that was there they made their book and they still have it well I don't know if they still have it but I don't have it they, ha they have it and they went pretty obnoxious with it too I don't even remember what they ended up doing for their book but they had a lot of fun with it too and it was just a time that we could be silly and kind of have fun together but then we ended up with a children's book afterwards which was just super fun. So that's a really really inexpensive way. All you need is a couple pieces of paper and maybe a piece of cardstock and some way to staple it or or bind it. So super super simple. Well then my husband and I we actually really enjoy doing crafty things for date night quite often and so we saw these on Amazon. It's just a blank board book. They're, they're kind of small, but they're only like $5 or something. I'll link it down below. I was super excited to find it. We bought a couple and decided to try it. And we, my husband and I, are learning Esperanto together. It's a constructed language that's super, super easy to learn. And so we decided to make a book in Esperanto for our kids, and it's not quite finished. We don't know what to put on the cover here, but Bestoy, that means animals. And then this is just, we just did really simple dialogue in it. Uh, so this would Kato see this, that's just cat sits, and then so then we do a picture of a cat. And we did it, we did a whole bunch of different animals and what they do. <laughs> and see, you can see it's not all colored yet, but our children actually really like this one as well, and I think it would work really well for teaching kids uh, some of the Esperanto dialogue, and you could do this with any language, and you wouldn't even have to do a language, you could just, I mean, they do children's books that are really simple like this all the time we, that I've bought before, and so you don't have to be super creative or feel like you're a writer to do children's books together, you can just have fun with it, and then if or when you have kids, they will probably really enjoy it as well. Or if you have nieces and nephews or anything like that, kids in your life, they'll love to see that you that you made the children's book. That's one of our kids' favorite parts, and they're only two and four, and so they really enjoy them. And it was a ton of fun to do that for our date. We actually 
we this is another one that we bought because we want to do another book because it was so much fun to do the first one so that's my date idea let me know what you think of it in the comments below and thanks for watching my video i'll see you in the next one